It's Friday, December 6, 2019. I am at the house. I sold the house yesterday, December 5th. I'm packing up things, trying to get out of here. Uh, today is my son's last day of school. And, um, I don't know, just reflecting, thinking about things. Kind of sad to leave in a way. But not sad, but sad. I don't know. I guess, you know, we learn a lot about ourselves as we grow older. And we try things and, you know, that's that. Um, I've thought about, like, what does a house mean? You know, what does home mean? Like, I, I think that um, it's important for you to feel comfortable you know, for a home to have some comfort and some safety. Um, it's important that like when you come home, you're happy to be at home and be in your house and comfortable, you know, cook in your kitchen and, um, you know, you have your bedroom the way you like it. And, you know, there's a train passing for it. Yeah, <laughs> um, words that I think um, best describe home are words like uh, comfort, safety, um, I think the third one, um, a state of mind, um, that's a phrase. <laughs> um, Words, uh, two, there are two words, there are two words that I think, um, there are two words that I think um, best describe or should be mainly associated with home. And those words are comfort and safety. Um, without those two things, um, I think people will have stress and, um, uh, not be as happy as they might want to be and kind of qu question, uh, where else they could be or want to be. Um, I remember when I first bought the house. I was sitting eating in the car. I didn't really feel comfortable in the house. Uh, I remember there were mouse droppings and I found a couple of mice. I, well, I caught a couple of mice and I've seen mice around the house. I've seen mice around the house. So, um, yeah, I was just concerned about bringing food in the house and eating in the house. And, uh, and I've always been a person that is going to my car as my place of peace. Like, um, so even before we got comfortable in the house, I would sit in the car, you know, because the house is cold and um, just concerned about breathing in uh, lead or anything like that. Um, and just, I just wasn't comfortable for a while. And any place you move, you, you have to get comfortable. Uh, you know, it's just a transition. Maybe some places you go into and you're like, oh, this is great, it's clean and it's nice and you just, you know, you take your shoes off and you, you want to <laughs> run around with no shoes on because it's that clean. And so uh, cleanliness definitely um, gives people um, comfort. So that was something that was missing here. I had to come in and clean and, you know, get it to a place where I was comfortable with like even going in the kitchen or going in the bathroom with no shoes on, <laughs> things like that. Um, so I uh, just, uh, you want to be comfortable. Comfort, comfort is very important, um, probably with, it, with anything that you do, like your job, um, your relationships, um, things like that. Uh, what else? 
safety is a safety is like a huge priority um, in this day and time. Uh, you know, if you put on the news right now, seeing somebody getting shot, there's always something happening. Um, in the small town, you know, granted, I've seen police at different locations in the town, but it, it never feels like, oh, something bad is going to happen to me here. And I, it, that can be a state of mind, too, which um, I think people should definitely, um, you know, find their own mental peace so that they can find safe, you know, feel safe. Some places are just not safe, though. Some people stay in really unsafe places for too long and just kind of prey on it or think that, uh, you know, they live in their little bubble and nothing will happen to them. But I'm just saying. So um, comfort and safety are huge. My phone's dying. Great. That's what happens. Um let me see. The pros of a small town. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Let's go over here. All right. There are a lot of pros to living in a small town. Um, there's no traffic. There's no parking meters. There's no stoplights. Um, <laughs> The, you know, you don't go in a store and have to stand in a long line. Um, you know, everybody knows each other and they kind of look out for each other. There's that community feel that a lot of us wish um, we still had in America. That uh, probably my generation of adults um, miss from our childhood. Like that we could go outside and nothing would happen to us. We could stay out till the street lights came up and we felt safe and our parents weren't worried about us. Um, that's one of the huge benefits of a small town um, that you still have that kind of, uh, you, you still have that possibility of safety. You still have, um, uh, you still, you know, you just still feel safe in a small town. Um, what else? Uh, and your kids will grow up with the same people and they'll have friends like that. Though 